And here we are on the octopus map, as I like to call it. And we have our first bout just about to happen. Spawning at the 1 o'clock position, we have the blue Protoss player. It is Fear from Team EC Visualize. And his opponent is going to be Yogo, the teal Zerg player. Apparently, looks like Stefano's fan. I'm not entirely sure if this is Yogo or Stefano in the picture. Nevertheless, if this was a true Stefano fan, he would choose the color pink, which he did not. So I'm going to assume it is Yogo on the picture right there. So yeah, um, Catalina, what's there to say about this map? You have a fairly easily defendable natural, natural base for both players, the Protoss and the Zerg as well. Uh, securing your third could be a challenge for the Zerg player because you have to connect it with creep first, which is easier to do in this base uh, or in this location. Uh, but then again, there's a choke that is so much abusable with force fields, so taking this base might not be the best of ideas. If you're a Zerg player, you would likely want to take this base because it's a little bit more difficult to engage into this location for the Protoss player as this is more wide open. So I'm guessing Yogo did get the better uh, trade in terms of um, in terms of spawn positions because he does not want to take this base. That would be expanding towards your opponent. He'll likely be taking this one, and this is a good one to take for him as well. On the other side, we have Fear opening with a gateway first, one gas, and uh, going straight into the cybernetics core. So no shenanigans uh, happening on either side so far. Uh, the opening for the Zerg player was pull into a hatchery, very safe opener. It doesn't give you such a great economical edge uh, versus a gateway opener as opposed to uh, as opposed to something like a forge fast expansion where it's okay to go pool and hatchery, but you really want to go 15 hatch uh, versus a gateway opener because yes, your opponent's tech will be faster, but at the same time, his upgrades will be slower, so you can actually get away with uh, getting a 15 hatch and a pool afterwards. You can still defend, and uh, you will shoot way ahead in terms of worker counts by the 8 minute mark. So Nex is going up here for fear. He already is working on these uh, destructible rocks, just for the sake of them being killed. Continues on with the Mothership Core. Of course, his position has been scouted as of now. This probe is going to be caught out on the map. Oh, well, probably not. That could have been a, could have been a mistake because Yogo is taking a very fast third base, sacrificing a couple of queens in order to do that. Yeah, he did build only one queen. Usually, you build uh, you build uh, more queens, like uh, you build them faster. But uh, he did want to get that third base up ASAP. And this probe out, out on the map could later on be crucial for Fear's plans in, for example, pressuring with three gateways to put down a proxy panel. And it's going to be four gateways, actually. So, a lot of pressure coming the Zerg player's way. What Yogo needs to do right now is scout this. He saw the two gates, but that's not really telling that much. He need, what he really needs to do is see the fourth gate. Uh, but even in spite of not seeing it, he's already producing 14 Zerglings. He hasn't taken a gas yet because he took such a fast third base, so he can't really justify that. So he'll have to defend with uh, Queens and Slowlings, which is tough to do in and of itself. Not to mention we're going to have four gateways backing this pressure up and a Twilight Council going up behind that. So possibly a blank transition uh, can be made off of this. It looks like uh, Fear is going to have to back off for a little while against these Zerglings. The pylon has still not been discovered. That was very close of not being spotted. This is going to be, for the most part, purely Zealots. And a counter-attack counter is on the way, but a uh, pylon is completely blocking that. Now Fear has to be careful of not getting his Zealots surrounded because uh, that way... He oh, and he yeah, th this, this for a moment there, it looked really big. Now this pylon may get shot down. If, uh, if Yogo targets that down, he can shut down this attack entirely. 
tries to get a surround on the Zards, he's forcing them away, he gets the pylon, that's all he really wanted. Now he can back away, are there any additional pylons out on the map? Uh, it doesn't look like it, so this attack is now effectively defended with slowlings and nothing much else. Still no gases being taken by Yogo. We have the Twilight Council finished, additional gases are being taken by Fear, so he'll have to make use of these Zealots somehow. Uh, he does have still this very handy probe out on the map still, so additional pylons going down. And uh, the Zerg player has been droning behind this, so he may not have the units necessary to deal with this, and you, what you really want with this is either a very good fight to take before the Zealots reach critical mass, which I think they already have, or you need roaches. There are two spine crawlers going up at the third base and at the natural, I believe, uh, somewhere? No, it has to be somewhere here, yeah. Two spines, but the Roach Warren is still not yet done. More Warpens will be coming in, potentially, for, uh, for fear, and uh, still not enough units and you know with this blink on the way uh, and those additional gases taken he can start warping in stalkers as well and this attack will become even more difficult for Yogo to defend he gets his lair up still will take 100 seconds to finish 80 seconds excuse me and there's a stalker warp in and the blink is nearing completion additional gateways are being added on since so 7 gate 7 gate all in off of 2 bases with blink this will be very difficult to defend. Uh, a security pylon being uh, being raised here to make sure that this pressure can continue. And we have the first roaches on the way, but I, I fear that at this time the Protoss army really has reached a critical mass of units, and I I don't know if the Zerg player will be able to deal with this. You really want to have a bigger army than the Zerg uh, than the Protoss player in order to defend any kind of attack, and we can see that the army supply for Yogo is uh, slightly below that of Fears. So with those spines, yeah, it's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit easier for him, but still a tall order to make this happen. Especially with uh, a full energy mothership core being able to drop two, not one, but two time warps. One goes down, ensuring that those queens will go down. Some transfuses go off. Nice job targeting the queen with the higher amount of energy. And wow, this is certainly not going the Zerg player's way. He will for sure at least lose the third base. There are two spine crawlers here, completely useless right now as Fear is warping more and more and more Stalkers, and he has not even shown that he has Blink. Once he starts blinking these Stalkers, uh, Yogo is going to think to himself, oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? And the longer this fight goes on, the worse it's going to be for Yogo. And here come the Blinks, keeping those uh, Stalkers alive for longer than they would have any rights to be. And, uh, 16 more Lings, and wow. That's just not gonna be enough and Yogo has to GG.